everyone welcome back to my channel I am so excited to be here with you guys and doing a Dollar Tree haul I hope you all had an amazing weekend of the beginning of your week I hope your Mondays went smoothly and that your Tuesdays are great I can't wait to share everything with you that I picked up today this morning at Dollar Tree before I get started though I always forget to say in the middle or at the end which is my goal I hope that you can join my YouTube family hit that subscribe button if you haven't already also hit the bell button because then you're notified every time I upload a new video don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below because all those things definitely help my channel grow I just always forget to say it well probably about 50 50 so I figured that I would pop that in the beginning for this video so today for you I do have a Dollar Tree haul like I said I went in looking for the planner items if you watched my last Dollar Tree haul I was talking about how I wanted to grab one. I found new Halloween stuff, which I was not even in the market for. So you're gonna see that plus some other fun finds. So let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna show you these again because I've already picked them up once and I decided I needed to pick up some more because I just think that they are an amazing deal and they are just so darn cute. So they are new bubble millers that Dollar Tree has. If you didn't see my first ones, these are the flamingos. You get two per pack. They are nine inches by six inches, so they're not like huge. They're for like smaller packages, but you get two, which is better than the sparkly shiny ones. You only get one of those at Dollar Tree. And then if you don't like the flamingos, which is crazy to me because I do love me the flamingos, but if you don't like the flamingos, they also have watermelons and like popsicle ice cream design. So they have several fun ones, which I did pick up at the last haul. So if you haven't seen that, head back to my last haul. But I wanted some more of the Flamingo ones just to have on hand because you know that those are going to sell out super fast. I picked up these blue Takis. Um, my son likes Takis. He wants the flavor that I picked up once before, which I don't know what it is, but apparently it's like cheddar-y and I didn't see those ones. I feel like this is a smaller bag too than the last ones I picked up, but they're the Blue Heat. I figured get them for him for like an after school snack um, if he wants them. Um, I picked up, let me figure out my order of my life, which is never easy. All right, so I did go back because I was looking for these. And let me, I'm trying to find the other piece, there we go. So I was looking for this because um, I had like a whole thought process while I was talking to you guys last time during my Dollar Tree haul that I want to do a planner just for my wedding. And I liked this cover because the blush pink is one of my colors. So is rose gold, which isn't necessarily on there, but this was the cover I liked best. I did sit there for a while debating. They had another one in this color scheme that said like she designed a life she loved, I think is what it was, um, but slightly different. Here's the puppy dogs. Um, and then they had one like a floral one that said notebook, I think on it. And there might've been one other one, but this is the one that I decided that I liked best. So this you get the front and back. So you get the cover and the um, back cover. And according to the back, they are both exactly the same, um, but probably mirrored and reversed. They have the little cutouts for the doodads. And then I did pick up the doodads. Um, I this was the last pink set that they had so I was excited to get those because that was the color I wanted for Amber you I think you've done this before like that um, they also had a mint green one and a black set and a lavender purple set I really feel like the, their color of these didn't really match up great with their color of um, cover sheets but the pink went well, so that is what I wanted. And then I got the filler sheets. Um, there's two different styles, and I got two of each. So the first style of filler sheet are these, and it says month of, and you get to write in the month, and it says the goals. And then according to back here, you also get the calendar pieces. Um, so you can write in a full calendar, and then important notes. So I don't know how many of each, which is kind of why I grabbed two. I need a year's worth of planning um, currently because I'm trying to do this leading up to the wedding and like remember all my important dates. <coughs> and then they also had these ones. And these ones say notes and ideas. You get both solid <coughs> lines and then it looks like there's another one in here that has um, like two columns of lines then there it you know what let's just open them 
let's see what it actually looks like in here. And some of the like front pieces were different, so I just figured they had gotten into a different order when they got put in. So we have these ones that are just the solid lines. That's what was in the cover sheet. And then it looks like we go to like this grid pattern like that and it says notes and ideas still at the top and then after the grid pattern you get the dots like that and then after the dots oh you get some blank sheets so they're just straight solid blanks and then lastly are the columns and so that's what you get in there so i got two sets of those I probably don't need two sets. Each one does come with 30 pieces, it says. So there's 30 pages in here. Oh, it does show the blanks. So that shows without the writing on it much easier. And then, you know what, since we're opening, we can open the calendar ones just to make sure what they all look like. It is hard to see when you have like the warning for the plastic bag on the back. So I, don't, I know these kind of came out with school supplies, so we might be pushing the end of having these. So hopefully they keep them around. Hopefully they keep them around just because they're really fun. So this one has month of, goals, important, and birth dates. And then it turns literally right into where it's going to be a calendar that you fill in yourself. Starts on Monday and then you get Saturday and Sundays over here like the small ones. And then from there, you get important notes. And then, let's see, then it repeats itself from there. I'm just seeing if it changes at all from that. That might be, the, yep. That's what's in this one. Just that and that and that. And I probably only needed one because I feel like that'll, oh, nope. I think back here, no. Look like there's just extra important notes, but no month of. Yep, that's what you get all the way through the back. So just a whole bunch of those. I probably only needed one. But hey, I can keep using it even after the wedding then. Uh, I have had some comments asking why I talk about my wedding when I'm already married. Um, so just to clarify, if you're new here, I am having a wedding in August of 2024. It will be my husband and I's five year anniversary. So we will have been married for five years and we're doing a vow renewal, um, but doing it very wedding style. When we first got married, we got married in Las Vegas and we did have family and friends that were able to attend with us, but not all of our family and friends. So some of the most important people in my life weren't able to be there, like my very bestest friends. And so we are doing kind of like a redo, renew, vow renewal, and I get to wear like the long wedding dress. I had a short Vegasy wedding dress in Vegas and, um, you know, like the full reception style. So that is both what him and I want to do, and that's why we are having a wedding. So um, I've had some comments here and there about why why I'm having a wedding when I'm already married. That is why. So um, now let's continue on. I will show you some of the Halloween stuff that I found. Oh, one more from the office section when I picked all that up. I had been wanting to grab some of these fun colored rubber bands. You get 50 in here, which isn't a ton, but there has been here in times randomly that I've needed a rubber band and I thought I had rubber bands like this and I can never find them. So I don't think I ever did. I think I picked up something else and not the rubber bands. So I grabbed those. All right, in the Halloween section, they have some really fun new stuff. So first of all, I picked these up. They are like fake books, but they're wooden. I will say when I was there, there was one that someone had forced open along the seam. Um, and it opened and closed just like it would if you would think that it's a box because you would really think that this is like a book box. But these are not, they're definitely glued shut and all of them were uh, but I picked this one up it is the one that says crystal magic a mystical compendium to crystal stones and geodes the essential guide for harnessing an ancient magic of the earth but I thought the colors were really fun and it looked really neat my thought process was um last year I did a trunk or treat and it was fortune teller and I don't know if I'm going to do it as my trunk or treat probably not because I like to do a different theme but I wanted to do like some decorations with all my stuff and I thought I would add this. So this one is Christina Fortuna, Secrets of the Stars, Fortunes, Tarot, and Horoscopes. 
and it looks like that. And then the back still has the whole cover style. It has the Greenbrier stuff and the barcode, but I mean, they kept to it that it still looks like a book all the way around. So these will look really cute, either, you know, lined up like they're on a bookshelf, stacked with like something on top. So super cute decor for Halloween. So I was really excited to find those. And then these were new to me this year as well. So I picked them up. I couldn't decide which one I liked better, so I grabbed all three. The fourth one was just a chalkboard, and so it was just a solid black kind of like chalkboard look. So I left that one behind, but they're a coffin-shaped little stand-up picture. So this one has a little black table with a book on it and some bats, candles, and stuff. I actually have a little black can or a table that looks just like that, so I could probably incorporate it somehow in my Halloween decor, but I thought that that was really cute. And then I got this one that is like three pumpkins stacked up with some spiders and a skull. And I thought that one was really, really cute. And then the last one is this one where it has the, oh, I know what these are called. What are they called? I think there's a spider. That's what my, my con, there's a spider over there. Um, this thingy, there's a this thingy, I own them. I know what they're called, I can't think of it. Stacked on books with a crow on top. And so I just thought they were all really neat. You can see the layering if you look at them from the side. They're just like the fake wood. But I mean, from here on, just such a really cute decor piece and definitely worth that $1.25, I think. So I grabbed each of those for fun. So speaking of um, Halloween, I can't decide what I wanna do for my trunk or treat. I was trying to sit there and think about it as I was wandering through the store today. I wanted to do something different and fun. I put some ideas out there either Wednesday from the TV show, Stranger Things from the TV show, or Barbie. And when I did the poll, Barbie won like big time. So I'm still debating that if I wanted to do something like that, like a Barbie theme or something a little darker since it's Halloween or something completely like not any of those. I haven't decided yet, but I need to start working on it. I also picked this up. Um, it is a little fake jar um they had four of them one of them they were really bright colored one of them was eyeballs one of them was bones and they called it like bone broth and the other one was like kind of crystal geode geodes ish um and then this one was the one i liked the best so i just picked up the one and it says that it is witches brew apothecary ghastly ghosts and ghouls Freshly harvested ghost and ghouls blended into a ghastly puree with hints of haunting moans and groans. Perfect for haunting, potions, and spooky fun. I don't know what that bottom part says. There's like, like thick glitter on top and it's really small. Proudly sourced by your local graveyard, I think is what that says. So super cute. This part's all sparkle. So if you don't like the whole glitter vibe, that's all glitter in the middle. But I liked the colors of this one the best is why I grabbed it. So I picked that up. And then um, one of the little round table, you know, that they always have. They had that and they had some candles on it. And I was so excited at both of the candles I picked up. The first one was this. So um, in my living room, I do a little tear tray on my living room table that was candy corn themed. That was last year and I plan to do it again, but it was a little sparse. I didn't have a lot of candy corn stuff to put on it. So when I found this candle, I picked it right up to put onto that tear tray. It just says it's a candle. It's 2.45 inches and that's it. Not scented, it's an unscented one, but I, I don't plan to light it. I just plan to set it on my tear tray just like this. And then they had these. They had these, they had a second one that was skulls and they skulls were like three different colors. It was like a white, a gray, and a black kind of ombre effect. But I liked these ones that are the little ghosts. So they're little tea light size candles and the ghost like sticks up from them. I thought that these were so darn cute. So it says see bottom for safety, three piece figural tea light candle. Oh my gosh, they're so darn cute, like so new and so different, and I've never seen anything like that, and so I was quick to pick those up. I think last for the Halloween stuff, it looks like, yep, last for the Halloween stuff 
are these. So they are bats. That's all it says. So I assume that they're just so you could put them on the wall. I do have some that I picked up at Target last year. I actually did them in here coming out of my couch. <coughs> Excuse me. But I mean, you can never have too many bats for Halloween because you could put them anywhere and everywhere. You could put them outside if your weather allows for it. You can put them on any of your walls and it's super easy. Just get some of that sticky tack stuff and you just pop them on your walls wherever you want them. I like it that they're all different sizes. This is something if you have a Cricut, you can easily make, but what's easier than just picking them up for $1.25 and you get 15 of them. So I did grab these to put on my walls because I thought that they were too darn cute. Sorry, I just bumped you. And then I also picked up this one. You also get 15. It does say crow. That's 15. It says crow on here. Sally, let me know if you've seen these, if you know they exist, and if they look like ravens to you, if you want these. So Sally, leave me a message down below or message me. Um, we were just DMing recently on Instagram. So send me a message on Instagram or leave a comment because if you want these, I will send them to you. You are my first thought when I saw them because I think crows and ravens look kind of similar. So let me know. But so anybody else, so they are all these different kind of in-flight motion. I think there's like three different in-flights of the, the crows. And so I thought that those looked really neat. <clears throat> also, Sally, if you are into this because it has the bird on it, let me know that too because I'd be happy to share with you. All right, I think that is it for Halloween that I picked up. Um, boring, I picked up some hand soap. This is my husband's favorite one. And so I always get him the clear, unscented, because that's what he likes. I actually was looking at the one that's the germex because they have those at my stores which is a great deal you get double the amount of soap and it said unscented but i sniffed it and it just smells like hand sanitizer still to me which i didn't like so i stuck with i stuck with the clear one i liked that one better um also in that section i picked this up this was something new to me i have never seen at dollar tree before so it says just for her which caught my attention coconut water and i was like okay well what is that so they are individually wrapped flushable cleansing wipes it says you get 12 biodegradable flushable wipes um, for sensitive skin and so they're individually wrapped which is super cool so you are traveling you are going like to the beach you're going to places that you just feel like iffy about you're going to the gym like any of those places let's see so it says for sensitive skin wipes stay moist longer ideal for on the go in the office or at the gym fits in your purse or pocket easy to share and convenient this is their ph balanced paraben free dye free and cruelty free these are by mkj brands distributed by mkj brands maywood new jersey but made in china so I just thought that that was interesting new. Um, it says it's plant-based as well on here. So, so yeah, I picked those up because they were a new thing that I had not ever seen before. Um, I went to the sticker section. So if you watched my, I think it was my last haul or somewhere in like last week, sorry, my nose has a tickle. I needed to do a happy birthday board for Lorelai. Her birthday is actually tomorrow on Wednesday. That's like her actual birthday. And then her party is going to end up being Labor Day weekend because it was supposed to be this last weekend we just had, but we were out of town in Iowa for a convention with our girls group. And so we had to kind of switch our plans. So birthdays on holiday weekends always end up terrible. We've already had some people who say they can't come because it's holiday weekend, which is a bummer, but it's just how timing works when you get every other weekend with your kiddos. So um long story longer i picked up some new stickers i'm going to do her happy birthday board tomorrow during the day so when she comes home from school i'm going to wrap up a good chunk of her presents because we don't give many to her or to any of our kids we don't give very many of what we get them on their actual birthday party we do most of them beforehand after whichever however their birthdays fall and so i plan to do just that but i picked this one up i've gotten all puffy stickers for her happy birthday board that's kind of one of the themes but i got this because it has strawberries and watermelons on it i might honestly just use the strawberry and watermelon on her birthday board and then just keep the rest of the fruits for something else i like the pineapple of course because pineapples are my favorite 
but it looks like they have a passion fruit, lemons, two apples, cherries, bananas, grapes. Um, this guy, I don't, why well, I can't think of what that is. An orange, a pear, or maybe one of these is, a, this one's the passion fruit. Maybe it's this one, I don't know. Maybe it's a pomegranate. It's probably a pomegranate. A blueberry and a pear and an orange. Did I say that? So just a fun thing of stickers. There's 14 of them total on here. These are by Jot. They call them metallic on there. So I thought those were super cute. And then I picked these up because these are just kind of all the things like she's into, like the emojis, the peace sign. Every time I took her picture um, in Iowa, I always get a kind of thing. So um, I thought that that was cute. This little emoji with like a flower topper, super cute. So this one, you get 16 of them. Also says metallic and they're by Jot. So these stickers aren't in the crafting section. These ones are typically more in the... Well, all my stores, I always have another sticker section. There's like the main sticker section in like the Jot area or the Crafter Square area. And then like by the poster boards and stuff like that. I'm trying to think what else is always on that aisle. Sometimes school supplies ish, um, but they have a whole nother like section for the Jot stickers. So I always try to look in both areas for stickers that I like. And then I grabbed this one as well. And so we have the unicorn, the hat, um, some lips, some glasses, a donut, an ice cream cone, and the diamonds are really cute. And the nail polish and lipstick, which also I think goes really well with what we got going with the spa party. So I grabbed that one. So I'm gonna use a big chunk of those on her happy birthday board. And we're gonna end this on a boring note. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> my husband was wanting to in a fish, and we went to Costco, and he didn't want to buy $16 worth of cans of tuna. And I was like, well, you know. So I looked to add them to my Walmart order, and they're more expensive at Walmart. They were like $1.50 versus $1.25. I know it's only a quarter, but when you buy a handful of tuna fishes, let's see, there's one. I saved $2 by buying them at Dollar Tree. So, you know, save where you can. So I picked up a handful of tuna fish. I don't know what flavors are his favorite and what he wants. So I figured we'll grab one of each. We'll determine what is the best and then um, go from there. So there was two different brands that I picked up. So this is the Bumblebee brand. This is good until November of this year. So we just have a few months, but he wanted it. So I'm assuming he'll eat it soon enough. And this one is spicy Thai chili flavored, which sounds delicious. Um, I think I've had these. I think I've had all of these before, but it's been a minute because tuna fish for me like comes and goes. Him too. Sometimes it sounds real good and sometimes it doesn't. So the spicy Thai and then also from Bumblebee, this one is literally just light tuna in water. So just a plain one. This one is good until January 2026. So we have forever for that one. And then the last, oh my gosh, my nose has a tickle. I'm so sorry. Um, the last <laughs> Bumblebee one, it won't stop. I got him Sriracha because he likes to put Sriracha on things. So I thought he might like that. So um, our plan for these is I'm going to make him like adult lunchable style lunches for work. And um, he can get some crackers and some tuna fish, maybe some veggies or something like that. I actually got three different brands. The other brand I picked up is Chicken of the Sea, and this one is Wild Caught Pink Salmon. Um, and I don't know if he's gonna like that or not, but I thought for $1.25, we would give it a try. This is good until May of 2025. So a nice long shelf life. And then the last brand was the Star Kiss brand, um, Tuna Creations. So this one is The Ranch, good until 2026. All these were good until 2026. This one is the sweet and spicy. Also, oh, this is November 2025. I guess I was wrong. Um, this one's January 2026, lemon pepper. And then the last one is this deli style tuna. Don't pick this up thinking it's plain tuna because you would be wrong and you might get sad. Um, this one is mixed in when you look at the um, ingredients. Some celery, cu cured cucumbers egg yolk, onion powder, mustard flour. So they mix in just a couple little things into it to make it more like of a, a tuna fish style. Um, this is good until 2026 as well. And so on the back here, it kind of gives you some ideas of the flavors that they have here. Tuna, it says lemon pepper ranch, 
salmon, mango, chipotle, and lemon dill. If I ever saw those, I would pick that up. And then the chicken is chicken salad and buffalo style. So um, you might be seeing these more often because if he likes them, I will be picking them up and if I find other flavors. So guys, that is my Dollar Tree haul for today. I wanna thank you so much for being here, sticking it out with me. Um, if you stay till the end, give me a little fishy fish at the end because we ended on tuna fishes. Um, and then I know. So um, upcoming for you on Thursday, I have a Timu haul that I am so excited for. It is a big old box that I ordered. It's stuff for birthday parties and for my wedding and then a couple of random stuff. Then I will have another Dollar Tree haul for you again on Saturday. I am going to be recording at some point a Five Below haul because I picked up some stuff from Five Below for Lorelai for her birthday. I don't know when I'm going to get it put out, but I'll be recording it because it's got like birthday gifts and stuff in it. So I need to record it. Um, or I might do the, ooh, I'm looking forward to the Timu haul. I might do the Five Below haul for tomorrow and then Timu next week because Timu doesn't have like birthday gifts. I might be readjusting that schedule, but if you don't see Timu on Thursday, then plan that you'll definitely see it next week because just timing of what I need to I need to use in my life. Um, but that is what I got for you guys. I want to thank you so much for being here. Again, I know I said at the beginning, but if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button, joining my YouTube family if you haven't already. Those of you that have been here with me, I just want to give you a really big thank you. I don't feel like I do that enough. So I want to just honestly and like wholeheartedly give you just such a big thank you for being here and being a part of my life because without you, I wouldn't be here. And I just had literally no idea what this journey was going to bring and here we are like a year and a half later and it has been nothing short of amazing so just want to give a really big thank you that was impromptu but i just wanted to do it all right i'm going to end it here thank you guys bye see you next time